I wrote an article a few months ago on how to speed up the modeling workflow in uh, Lightwave 3D. In that article I mentioned that I use some of TrueArt's modeling plugins and yesterday I got asked of how I use these specific tools. Uh, these plugins only come with kind of basic documentation and I know some people can be a bit frustrated at first but they're actually pretty straightforward to use once you get into them. So I thought I should make a tutorial to demonstrate each split from TrueArt. Uh, I'm going to start out with the basics, how, to, how the tool operates, and then I will show a real-world modeling example of how you can use it in your daily workflow. Uh, let's get started. To show the basic usage, I will just add a simple plane and uh, let's subdivide it a few times so we get some uh, segments to work with. Okay, uh, there we go. When you start easy split for the first time, the fix free five and the fix n gone options are enabled by default. And what these options do is that when you draw your split with the left mouse button in the viewport, uh, the plugin automatically adds extra edges along your split uh, where needed to avoid any kind of end guns in your geometry, which could be a handy option sometime. But I usually like to work with, uh, with it turned off, so I get a clean split like this when drawing. And if I would need an extra edge somewhere, I just uh, use the plugin to draw those edges in. The other important setting in the plugin is the merge points and merge tolerance settings. And the merge tolerance can be adjusted directly in the viewport with the right mouse button, so you get this visual feedback. And what this setting do is that when you are drawing a split near an existing point in geometry, it will automatically snap to that point and weld it together. It's a very handy feature to draw a new split and uh, close it off on an existing point like this. Okay, let's undo the cuts. One situation when easy split is real handy is when you have two edges like this and you need to connect them with, with each other. And uh, as good as Lightwave's uh, own connect tool is, it only allows you to select a bunch of edges and connect them like this, or you can select uh, a couple of points and connect like this, or even a couple of polygons and press the L key, which is the shortcut for the connect tool, and connect them like this. But in this situation, if you select the polygons in between and run the connect tool, you get this result, which is not what you want. And that's because you can't select the point and then select the edges in between and then the next point because you can only select points or edges or polygons. So what I usually do is that I select the edges and then use the connect tool and then I weld the points at the ends together. But this is not a very efficient workflow, so using um, easy split, I just set the appropriate tolerance level and then just drag the split from, uh, from the segments to each other and I'm done. Uh, very neat. Okay, and uh, of course you could use um, Lightwave's Add Edge tool as well. Uh, though it would work in this example, like this. It doesn't uh, respect symmetry, if you like to use symmetry like I do. And uh, let's just make an example of that, that uh, we turn on symmetry now, and I draw an edge, and uh, when the edge is drawn here, even though I am in symmetry, I only got it on one side. So if I do the same cut using easy split, you see here, it respects symmetry. So you get the split drawn on both sides of your object's center line. Very handy. Okay. Now let's use the tool in a more real life scenario where we're going to make a simple pouch with a wrinkle in it. So I'll just make this box here and give it a few more faces and subdivide it a few times. And then we can pretend it's going to be a pouch or yeah, something like that. Or well, let's just give it some more geometry at the top and so it looks a little bit more like a pouch. So I'll use multi-shift and, uh, and bevel, bevel it out like a group and uh, it will be a little, look a little bit nicer. Um, 
so something like this yeah okay and let's just uh, select a few polygons here on the front and extend them down and we've got something like a flap here happening so yeah so other than uh, uh, making um, the wrinkle let's use east split for one more thing i think we can um, add something like a button here on the top of the pouch and to do a nice round button we will need some extra geometry we could use light with connect tool but uh, let's use easy split this time so I just um, split up the edges here by just dragging with the left mouse button and having a good tolerance setting and uh, we will use Lightwave's uh, own rounder tool something like chamfer in other applications and to make this polygon neat, let's use the untangle tool, very handy for making polygons round. And well, we'll just do something simpler, so I bevel it in a few times and um, uh, let's be lazy and just collapse the polygon here. We get a few tri tries, but uh, it's no big deal, it's just a simple test. So there we go, we have a button on the pouch. And let's just select a few polygons here and hide them. So we uh, get the clean canvas here to make the wrinkle. So I've used the easy split uh, tool now and I have turned off fix 3.5 and fix engons because I don't want this because I want to be able to make a clean nice edge bevel on this split. If I had used uh, the fix 3.5s we couldn't do edge bevel like this so here we have a nice bevel and let's just select the slope and connect it. There we have the beginning of the wrinkle. And uh, to close off the corners, I will use light with connect tool here. I could use e split, but it's a bit tight here, so the tolerance can be a bit tricky. So I think it just goes faster to use the connect tool here to to close them up. So yeah. Okay. And as you can see, we have the end guns here, and I like to work in sub patch, so it doesn't look pretty, so let's use easy split to just uh, fix those angles very very fast, like this. So I just draw in some extra edges where the angles appeared. Uh, okay, I think that's uh, it. One more. Okay, and let's just select edge loop in the middle and use the lightweight point normal mode to move it along its normal, and we can just push in a little wrinkle here. And if this were a real case scenario where I was going to use this model for something, I would probably go in here and merge the triangles together, spin a few edges and make a nice flow around the wrinkle, but uh, this will do for now. And uh, okay, let's um, unhide the polygons at the top that we hit before and select them and subpatch them like this. So. That was a pretty quick modeling job and it looks pretty okay. So, and what we can do here, if, if, uh, if you think the wrinkle was a bit too wide, let's just use a drag tool and uh, tighten it up a bit like this. And as we're doing an organic model, uh, you don't have to be too careful. Just uh, go by your feeling. Okay, that was our three minute pouch and I think this should give you a basic idea of how easy split can speed up your workflow. Well, that's it. I hope you found this tutorial useful.